welcome back to my channel. And uh, so today I want to talk to you about a new payment model that people are using. Um, we're talking about the buy now, pay later payment model. So the buy now payment model has come up and, you know, it's basically a different way to pay for items. So right now we're in the Christmas season and a lot of people are trying to figure out how they are going to pay for certain things and which um, payment method they're going to use. So the buy now pay later method has actually come up a lot more and is being used a lot more in uh, recent years, like last year, um, this year also people are using uh, the buy now pay later method. But is it a good thing? Like is buy now pay later actually even a good choice? So there are some pros and some cons to this model. But as I say, you know, I believe that you should always take precautions on your finances and what methods of payment that you're actually using because, you know, every method has uh, some pros and cons, I guess. So if you're using a credit card, you may think that the rewards on the credit cards, you know, it's, um, you know, a good thing. You can use them in the future, the convenience of a credit card, um, basically, uh, credit cards, basically you don't have to have the money right then and there. As long as you pay back your credit cards, you're clear. If you use cash, uh, you may think that, you know, that's a good option or even your debit card. You may feel like, you know, that's the best option for you, uh, depending on, you know, what ways you're looking into it. But the thing about buy now and pay later is that, you know, this method, um, you know, and I'm looking at some things while I'm actually uh, talking to you because I don't want to forget the things that I've seen because I'm like, wow, I don't think. It reminds me of layaway when, you know, how some department stores used to have layaway and you go into the store and you put a certain amount down and you have to keep paying it off until, you know, it's paid, then you bring the items home. And if you don't pay, then you actually will, uh, you know, get, you'll lose your money. You'll lose your deposit that you actually put in. So the buy now, pay later is sort of similar, but it's like a loan. So basically you're taking out a loan, you're putting down a deposit and you're taking out a loan for a purchase and you have an agreement and you have to pay that amount back within the certain agreement terms. But if you don't, you could be looking at large fees. And this is where, um, you know, I come in is that the fees um, actually could be a lot with interest. And also, you know, you could be paying so much extra for that product that if you would have just purchased it a different way, you wouldn't have to pay um, more. So basically, they say... Uh, 85% um, of individuals during Cyber Week, uh, which includes Thanksgiving and the Friday and Monday after the holidays, uh, the pay later orders rose 85% um, from the week before. So people were using buy now, pay later before they started holiday shopping. And uh, a week later, they actually used uh 85% more. So there seem to be no regulations with uh this buy now pay later. So it's not really uh fully regulated like credit cards or um you know other payment methods. Um it's not fully regulated. So you know there is a concern about that. But so this is what I was saying. If you miss a payment, if you miss a payment, you could be paying um, fees of about uh, $7 on an average loan of about $135. So let's say something was $135. Uh, fees of $7 per payment, per payment, not per item, not per purchase, per payment. So 
let's say if you have three or four payments, then that's going to be what seven times six is 42. So an extra $42 on each, uh, on over the course of the payment that you, you need to make. So the thing is that some of the things that happen with this buy now, pay later is that it seems, you know, a really nice way and convenient way to buy an item. But once you start to look, uh, as even with credit cards, but credit cards are regulated. So this is the difference. And people think, okay, well, I'm going to get my item. I'm going to buy it now. And then I'm going to pay uh, later. So this is the thing too. So you buy it now, you have this, but what you're doing is you may be setting yourself for some hefty fees that people are not aware of. So you may even get, if you miss a payment, you may get an uh, overdraft fee, you know, which no one wants to get an overdraft fee. So you have to make sure you're on top of this purchase. And if you are making the payment and you're going to buy it now and you're not sure how you are going to pay for it or you just, you know, intended to, but you don't actually have that money, but you're trying to make, you know, that money available, this is where the fees come in. Because any payment that you miss is going to uh, dramatically increase and then it's going to increase uh, the purchase price overall. So, let me go into something really quick because I want to let you know. Um, you know, I want to just give you some more information because people, uh, I think people think of this as being like another type of credit card. But, um, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's not regulated like credit cards are. And it's not like you're getting any rewards. You're not getting, you know, anything or any of those other services that you get uh, with credit cards. So basically the pros of buy now, pay later is that you get to split up the payments. So you get to buy now and pay later. You get 0% financing. So if you make your buy now, pay later payments on time, typically you will not have any interest. Um, so that's like the best thing out of it. You won't have any interest on this loan, but if you are going to, uh, you, you won't have any interest. Let me just make sure. Okay. So yeah, you won't have any interest typically if you pay your payments on time financing, uh, without a credit check. So you are able to get approved for this without even having to do a credit check, which is probably what draws most people in. And then uh, let's talk about the cons, the fees and the interest. If you miss a payment, as I was saying, you may be charged late fees or interest on your unpaid balance. And depending on the fee structure and everything, that could add up to be a uh, really hefty fees and a uh, possible overdraft. And also, um, you know, returns, you, returns can be really difficult. Like I said, you don't get any rewards, uh, like with a credit card, you don't get any rewards. So, um, you get all this interest and you don't even have any rewards for this type of payment method. So, Although it seems like a good option, you know, I would really try to understand the purchase and what I'm doing uh, when I use buy now, pay later. So if you are going to use buy now, pay later for the holiday, make sure you make those payments on time. Because if you don't make them on time, it's going to give you hefty fees. Now, I would just stay back from buy now, pay later altogether. If, you know, it's, if I can do that, I just stay back from buy now, pay later because um, also returns can be difficult. So you might need to return something and then you lose out completely. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, it's a lot more that's going to be going on here. Also, if you are interested in becoming a tax preparer for the 2024 tax year, make sure you reach out, email me at email at randallparalegal.com and become a tax preparer. You get free, uh, you get training, not free training, but you do get free assistance all throughout of the year. It's actually included in your investment to become a tax preparer. So randallparalegal.com, tax season is here. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications so you can 
see all the videos that are coming next.